I'm gonna install my shunt now for my uh, battery monitor. Uh, I've got the uh, heater running inside the ambulance because it's uh, quite cold out. So I'm gonna turn everything off first uh, before I disconnect the ground. The ground, my battery is coming to a bus bar right here. And you have to have this shunt connected to the main power for battery. So this is gonna go right to the battery and all my other grounds. I have several other ground points tied into it, but this is going to be the main ground. So I get a proper reading. I've got the cable to hook up to the battery and I'll plug in the monitor uh, top. I'll be showing you how, how I'm going to be doing that soon. So right now I'm just going to turn off everything inside, make sure I have no power. I don't want to just shut everything down just by disconnecting the battery. So I'll be back. Okay, I have everything shut off now and uh, I'm going to disconnect my ground right here. This is the ground lead from the uh, house batteries. I'm going to uh, connect it to the shunt. I'll uh, screw the shunt down onto the side up here. I'll be making a cover for there too. I always like to cover anything electrical and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I have my shunt mounted. I uh, reconnected my grounds. And uh, before I connected, I should have showed you. I used uh, my multimeter on continuity test just to make sure that the wire that came from the battery is this one. The ground disconnected from the battery. I just tested the two across. And when you touch the, you hear the beep, you get the continuity of the uh the cable just to ensure that it is the correct ground wire because there is a several ground wires on this vehicle and uh like i said everybody should have a multimeter it's a handy thing to have testing continuity and voltage if you've got an issue it makes a real job much easier to troubleshoot and fault find okay now that we have the shunt installed i can work on uh, installing the meter for the battery monitor. Uh, first, I'm going to have to move my heat. So, Alexa, I'm home. Some light. Alexa, turn on control panel. Uh, there we go. Now you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to have to move my uh, heater module over a little bit because I want to put the control right here. And want a little bit of space so I'll be doing that should be fairly easy to do Now that I got the hole cut out, I'm popping in my Renogy uh, battery monitor. Nice tight fit. I cut it exactly 94 uh, millimeters by 57 and uh, it's a perfect fit. Now that I have my battery monitor in, I'm going to just uh, 
relocate to my uh, diesel heater control just a little to the left so I have to make a little hole uh, extension just being careful not to uh, cut the uh, control wire. I want to make some nice llama cord labels uh, for these instead of just using the uh, tape, dyno tape, but uh, works good for now. Take that off. Okay, now I'll uh, go hook up uh, the meter on the other side and we'll test it out. I'm just removing the uh, plexiglass uh, access panel I made to cover all my uh, controls and switches and I'll be connecting the uh, cable that came with the uh, Renogy battery monitor it's a little long, uh, I'm just going to leave it long right now. I will cut it off and shorten it later uh, when I have a little bit more time and it's not so cold out. I'm also connecting the positive lead from the shunt directly to the positive of my house battery. Uh, it's recommended by uh, Renogy, so I'm just following the recommendations. Well, you can see it says it's 100%. I haven't programmed the uh, meter yet. I uh, put my uh, battery plugged in my battery charger I'm going to leave it on until it turns off so I ensure that the batteries are hundred percent and then I'll program the unit it's quite easy to program this has self-control and you can program it to the size the amperage of the batteries and uh, high and low low uh, alarm so if your battery drops down too low an alarm will sound so uh, I'll get back to the programming once my uh, batteries are fully charged. See there, I have laundry on the uh, left side, right side of storage. I'm going to move it around. I'm going to put a drawer in there on the left side for my CPAP. And uh, I'm going to build a cabinet that opens up on uh, for uh, storage of uh, shopping bags and my extra little uh, butane stove. For cooking outside or if I run out of propane it's a nice emergency and then I'll make the uh, right side for my laundry so uh, I'm just gonna draw that out uh, now and I'll do some measurements and I'll have to take the cabinet out to finish it but uh, just gonna make sure that everything's gonna fit in well I made the uh, frame for the drawer that's gonna hold my CPAP it's gonna be on sliders what I'm gonna do is cut out this panel here I've already marked it this will go onto the face here and when I slide the drawer in it'll just look the same as one piece so uh, that's my next goal to cut this out and uh, then I'll mount it to here and then I'll mount the uh, sliders on the uh, inside I have to build a little frame for them and uh, That'll be for my CPAP. I'll also move this. I'll be cutting a hole in here that my holes will come out of when I put it away at night. 
just lifts it up, put the hose down, and uh, it's all put away for the day. So yeah, um, I think that's gonna. Well, I've uh, installed my CPAP into my drawer. It's I've got to do some uh, touch-ups on some painting for what I cut through. And uh, now all I have to do is I can open up the lid, pull up my hose, and I've got my CPAP. This uh, will save me a lot of trouble of packing the thing away every day, um, every time I use it. And I feel much safer uh, being in a secure spot since they are quite expensive. So I'm pleased with this so far. I'll just let's see, see it's in here. And then that's done. So my laundry used to be on this side. Now my laundry will be on this side. I uh, plan to make storage uh, underneath my CPAP door for my laundry bags, uh, shopping bags, and for my uh, little one burner butane uh, stove that I use but, uh, that'll come up on uh, later days uh, right now I'm planning to go out and see another person uh, who's uh, bought an ambulance similar to mine and I'm gonna go out and uh, help him uh, figure out how to design it where to put his bed his stove and a few other things so I'll have a short video on that uh, in the next couple days